to every human who ever dreamt and then had the courage to follow that dream wherever it led. That feeling! That feeling! What if I don't know? <laughs> What if I don't know where the story begins? There's so much I want to say. But some things in life cannot be told with words. You gotta leave them. Alors voilà, how living in the house of my dreams looks, smells, sounds, feels. Just a few weeks back, living in a mountain grange was still just a daydream. I can't believe it materialized. For the first time in a very long time, I met the target. I finally have a place to build my nest up in the clouds, where I can connect, create, rise and rest. This 100-year-old grange at the mountain's foot is rather special. Anyone stepping here would be able to sense how high is the energy. Some simple geobiology testing revealed the frequency of this place is amazing. <laughs> Up here, there is a melody that never stops playing. The wind in the trees. This barn was originally built to shelter animals and store hay. That being the case, windows are very few. The indoor lighting is honestly a challenge for filming. I still can't believe it's happening. My nomad brain thinks I will soon need to pack my bags and leave for the next rental. But no, I'm no longer trapped in this restless routine. It's over. I feel like a lion out of the cage. Straightway bolder. Already stronger. I love my new home just the way it is. Yet there are things I want to improve. Would you know what could be done with this old hen house? Because apart from a garden shed, I really don't know what to do with that. All that really needs to just burst. Solar panels are obviously on my mind. Getting more and more self-sufficient is key for what's to come. For now, let's prepare the house and make it cozy for winter.
If you also are always pushing yourself to improve, be better and reach a goal, chances are you and I are alike. Eventually comes a day in your existence when you finally feel your true self. When your life's exactly the way you wanted it to be. And just like that, your inner demons reappear. Back to the start. Here we are, repeating the same old patterns, those we so hate. Years ago, I suffered from severe OCD and the part where it came back this week, I'd rather skip it. Life will keep throwing back at you what you haven't fixed yet. Recurring situations, repetitive emotions, constant failure are nothing else than the universe forcing you to face the problem. To face your demons, overrule your fears and heal your wounds. Distracting my mind bargain hunting antics have tremendously helped me recover from my compulsive behavior. Transforming old, raw materials into useful furnitures makes me feel so good. Giving a new life to trees is quite magical. Everything we can create with our bare hands and some imagination. Since I sleep on a futon when I got here, I had nothing to rest upon throughout the day. I once salvaged four pallets on a construction site. Today they make a modest yet comfy couch. The harvest season comes to an end. Darker days and longer nights. Animals go into hibernation and the world slows down. The trees know that their leaves must die in order to be reborn at spring. So do we need to shed our burdens. Furnishing and organizing the grange is a great deal of pleasure, but I too need to slow down and allow my will to fall off. Semaine is stepping in at the right time. This pagan Sabbath marks a turning point on Earth. Our intuition extends, so we can connect to the ones we still love but aren't here anymore. And in 
into the night I dance, I let my body go, I embrace each and every ghost I carried with me this year. The guilt, the anger, the grief, the fear, honoring all the broken parts of myself, the ones that shape this imperfect but beautiful whole. Before this mountain house dream came true, I thought I failed, but I didn't fail. I never did. All along, everything I did really was just learning how to stand in the wind, how to fall on my knees, and how to rise from my own ashes. This world is a very complex one to live in. Aren't you doing your best? Aren't you already trying to be better than yesterday? Life is a tough climb. But if you just keep walking, the feeling from the top, oh, that, that feeling. feeling. That feeling! <laughs> you don't need to see the whole staircase to reach your goal. Un pas après l'autre. One day at a time. Don't you dare give up on your dreams. Because they come true. They really do.